Hi guys, it's John here. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to put a post in the ground with no concrete. That's right, no concrete. What happens with concrete and timber, water can't escape. The water gets seeps inside the concrete and rottens the post. How many times have we said this? We've said it so many times. So many times, concrete and wood do not mix. They can sit on top of it, but it should not be encased in it. The old fencing, the old posts had no concrete at all. All it was was dirt, a bit of cement if you want, and that's about it, and just pack it. Dirt and cement, but no concrete. Well, he's really good. he got me confused now. So just so we're clear, concrete is aggregate and cement mixed together. I don't see yes. how taking the aggregate out of it and just using cement is actually solving the issue. Cement is the agent that is making it hard and trapping all that moisture. So today, I'm gonna to be showing you to do it the right way. You need a shovel, some vices, a hammer, and this in particular, this is called a pinch bar. You should see it's wide here. You can get a thinner one. We call it a tamping bar, a digging bar. Yep. That's the tamping end. What I like for the tamping end is the new post rammer. The post rammer. Oh straight. yeah, the post rammer is amazing. And then you got the fencer's the, crowbar bar to go along with it. Yeah, but you got that nice little kidney shaped foot for getting around round stuff and stuff. Yeah. Uh, link down below if the fencer's crowbar bar and then the post rammer, which is what we use for tamping posts. To level the posts. That guy is serious about his level too. That was like a 12 foot level. It's for real. You don't be doing any, any bigger than this. This is around about 200 millimeters to 20 centimeters. If you're looking at inches, you're looking around about eight inches. Oh, thank you. Eight trying inches. to math the in my head. I was nervous. Hole. Okay, so we're gonna start digging the hole now. 200 mils this way, 200 mils that way, 200 mils this way, also that way. So once you get your, your 200 mils, push the dirt away, continue digging like this, and you can see it's the same size as the shovel. But you don't wanna go any more than that because then it'll be too, too big. He's right. When you're gonna pack the dirt back in there, uh, you want enough room around the post where you can get your tamper or your post rammer around it, but you don't want so much that you're trying to repack a whole great big area. As hard as you're gonna try, you're never gonna get that soil to the same compaction that it was before you disturbed it. Disturbing the least amount possible where you can still get your post rammer or your tamp bar in there is, is critical. You're gonna need it later on to put it back. You want good soil, you don't want clay. So we keep digging. What about when all you have Once is you've clay? Done your square. Then you grab your pinch bark and you hit the edges. You make a line where your shovel has just been. And this is where the pinch bar is very good. Keep digging like this. So on really hard ground, make a little small hole in the center and then break everything into it and that'll be easier than going around the edges like he's saying. Make a small hole to chip things into. It works really good in frozen ground too. If you try and work the whole great big area from the outs, the outside edges in, it'll take you forever. But digging a real small hole in the center you can chip into is a lot faster. All right, guys, you see as I've taken out the dirt, we have the clay section, and then on the right here, we have the dirt section. The dirt section is what we're going to put first back in the hole with a bit of cement because the clay, is, um, you can't put it back because it's very hard to compact. This is what we're gonna put back into the hole. We've dug our hole 21 and a half inches. Generally, if you have softer soil, you need to go deeper, at least another 100 mils to 50 mils deeper. He's also not taking into account frost depth, so gotta get below frost. So even if you're not using concrete, it's still advisable to go below frost. It, it makes it so that there's no place for that frost to possibly grab onto and force that post out. You're gonna be less likely to have frost heave because there's not concrete and you don't have that great big slug, but it's still possible, so if, if in doubt, Go deeper. So now, uh, we dug the hole, we're gonna put the posts in. Oh no, no, there it is again. Oh, no. no. I was so hopeful. I, I was really wondering what we were gonna use the C-clamp for. Maybe he'll tell us, maybe he has boundaries, so, not a whole judgment. Braces. I'm gonna show you how to put the dirt back in the hole. No concrete, please do not use concrete. As I said before, the, the concrete destroys the timber. It won't work. Trust me, this is the best way to do it. it doesn't rot and it lasts at least 30 years. All right guys, so now we put a couple shovels. Don't put it on each side and it's even. So we do like that. You only put a little bit in at a time because we don't want to move the post. So what we're going to do is now pack it with our leveler. Oh, I love that he's using his level. <laughs> yes, Joe Everest, just for you. He's using his level. That's what it's for. So each time you do this, you have to check the level in case it moves. If you tamp too hard on the bottom too, uh, that post bottom will shift. With the first lift that you put in that's called lift. So if you put um, like a six inch lift and then you pack it and then you do another six inch lift. The very first lift that you do, it's very critical that you're very gentle and then you slowly increase your tamp pressure around the post as you start it off, otherwise it will lean. 
Well, it's the same thing with throwing concrete in a hole. If you're setting something, if you throw it in too hard, it's mm -hmm. going to push that post it over. Will. Yeah, and you'll think, oh, it's all fine until you go plumb it up again and it's all over the place. As I said, once you finish all this process, the posts won't even move, guys, and it's fantastic. Get a little bit of cement if you want, or you can mix this in with the dirt. Just sprinkle a little bit of that, a bit of cement. It's not concrete, it's cement. Tiny bit, no, you don't need much. And what we're going to do now, at the end of that pinch bar, there's a, there is a little top that you have, and this is, this is for this purpose, is to pack it. So we just go gently, pack, keep packing. So once you pack it uh, a tiny bit, keep putting more in. And we're going to do that and follow that process until we get to the top. Okay. I mean, I guess like it's, it's he's one guy, so it's keeping the post from getting. I was gonna say the same thing. Maybe maybe there's the valid reason for it here, so it's not leaning as he's tamping it, is keeping it, because that can be a problem. Once it starts leaning, trying to get it corrected can be really tough, especially on your own. He he may have a valid reason here. It's just I still wouldn't do it. But. Notice I didn't put no water. Please do not put water as you're doing this. It has to be dry, and just keep packing it. And each time you keep packing it, you have to keep, every time you, before you put a shovel in, make sure you use your level. As you can see, the post has been put in, it's nice and level. You cannot move it, it's extremely, extremely strong as if there was concrete in the dirt. And the good thing about it is, as it rains and the water goes into the dirt, as it gets sunny again, the water's gonna evaporate. So it's gonna keep- Can you set a post like this for me, Dan? I'm gonna try this. I want you to set a post like this, and then we need to dig it up and see what it looks like. I'm genuinely clear. I've never seen anybody add just a little bit of some cement powder to that. I don't know if it makes a difference or doesn't. I would have just tamped the dirt in. So it's either we use concrete or we don't use anything. Concrete will trap that moisture, and it just it's a breeding ground for everything that's gonna rot off your post faster. This is just one of those things that has been carried forward for years and years. We don't know why we use concrete, but somebody told us it was better back in 1863, and we're still doing it. If yeah. you want to shorten the life of your wood post, make sure you use more concrete. Yeah, I mean, it's, it is providing job security. Yes. So, hold on. You were you were criticizing it. So, like, man, that's a, this is a huge level. Now you know why he had a success. Yeah, level. so he didn't have to bend over. Well, he's, like, standing up straight, not hurting his back. I mean, good technique there. He really put the thought into that. So, Australians are real, real thinkers. I definitely agree with him that concrete's not the way to go. I just don't know about the cement, so I can't speak to that. We're gonna we're, we're, we're gonna try it. We're we're, we're definitely gonna try the cement thing. You have your marching orders. If you want to learn more about how to drive posts or some of the drivers that we use, check out this video right over here. And if you want to know about the crazy new posts that we're using instead of wood posts, make sure and check that video out right here. I'm Mark with SWI in Florida, visiting Wyoming for the week. I'm Dan with SWI Wyoming, and we hope you have a good dang day.